so when we open this box, we want to go through and release the perforation because if you just start ripping it off, it rips a hole. And then it'll start tearing the foils when they come out of the box. You don't want a crunch box. If you drop it on the corner, it's going to crunch all of your foils on the corner, so then they'll be very difficult to extract. So just kind of lightly poke through that perforation so you can get a clean edge. Don't just go in here and rip it off. Okay, so when you first start to pull the foils out, sometimes the first couple will be crunchy. One thing that we don't want to do is pack the foil like this. When I pack the foil and slide this out, I'm making all the bumps go away and I'm making it very slick. So when I start stacking foil on top of foil, then I tear them and then they stick together. So you need to have some air that stays within the foil. So when I come through, I'll straighten the corners and then once in a while I'll take the crease out of the middle. But I'm not packing them together. Just make sure the corners are unfolded. And then what I'll do is I'll take a few, like six or eight, and I'll shuffle them down to get them even. So when I go, I need to have a sharp edge, like a Formica edge, when I cut this. But when I go, I'm never going to take this. I'll use it example. I'm never going to take this and crease it like this because this is metal. So when I have 10 sheets and I crease it together and then I begin folding, then I'm just making the metal mesh together. So we're never going to crease it like that and go through and flatten this out and then come over here and put a big crease. Just like I'm never going to cut them with uh, scissors. When I get ready to do the foil, I don't, I'm not a heavy hand here. I don't want to pack it down. All I'm doing is put my finger here. And when I start to tear, I don't want to go out with it. I want to tear and take my hand right down the side of the cabinet. And then see how I tilt that when I start going down? It po pushes the back up. And then what I begin doing is I start running my finger down that seam. And then see, I still have air between the foils. So when I pick them up, they're gonna come apart. If I have them all slicked down together, then I'm coming here and doing this. And then they're all slicked down together here. They're all nice and neat. And then I pick them up, they don't come apart. Whereas if I have them this way, I still have all that air in there, and I'm going to do some shorter ones here. Then they come right apart. Okay. So this line got really crooked. You don't ever really want to do that. That kind of gets in the way. You always want to try to use the fresh edge. Like we're going to, when we do a retouch, we'll go lengthwise this way, and I always use the fresh edge. I don't use the edge I tear if it's absolutely possible.